Hi, this is Matt from ProMask, and we want to now show you how to properly fit a keeper with a mask. At first, we want to look at the outline of her face. She has a fairly narrow jawline, not big round cheeks. She doesn't have a wide temple or anything like that. So I happen to choose the adult small. It's nice and narrow in the cheeks here for the good fit that we want without any wobbling around. Um, the first thing we do is we're going to undo the straps. We have the elastic straps that go all the way down to the bottom and we have our safety strap to keep it on our head later. So we'll undo the safety straps and the elastic straps and we're going to put it on our head. And then we're going to make sure the chin cup is in our chin. Elastic straps all the way down to the bottom and then the safety strap goes over and snaps up top. Next, we happen to have great visibility and great sight lines right here now. If the mask was hanging down on her face, this top center buckle regulates the height of the mask on her face. So if it was hanging down, we'd tighten it up. If it was riding way up like this, we'd let some out. Some customers have a tendency to over adjust all these straps and can really throw the fit off. So that's not really what you want to look for. If you have good sight lines like this, you're all set to go. You're going to tighten up these so they're nice and snug. And we're looking again for that nice fit in the cheek and the jawline right here. You notice that the foam is just against her face. It's not squeezing her cheeks, but there's definitely not a gap there. You cannot have a big gap where it's wobbling around. If she's in the smallest size possible and she has a gap, you can use some of the eighth inch spacer foam, peel and stick adhesive foam that I ship with every helmet to kind of customize it in here. But this is a perfect fit. So everything is nice and snug here. We haven't done anything with the airbag yet. All right, good sight lines. Everything's great. The back plate looks good. Everything's nice and tight. We then take the little black cap off the end of the air tube. And now we can either stand beside her and blow this up for her or she could stick it through the cage and blow it up herself. I'll do it while I'm here. Just put a little bit of air in to occupy the space that there may be in her temple area and across her forehead. It's very important not to overfill the airbag and it must be filled while the mask is on the head. That's the key. And if we put it in and it's a little too snug, we can micromanage this, pinch the tube, take the cap off, just let a tiny bit of air out at once, just a little bit, just like that, until they say it's great. Now, again, this is not a protection device. This is a fitting device that actually turns into a protection device by making a proper fit. Any helmet needs to fit snug everywhere, all the way around the face. As the keepers get to a higher level, it must fit tight, tight, tight. And this is what the airbag does. Some people have a tendency to overfill the airbag uh, in the hopes that there won't be an injury or something like that, but that's key that you don't overfill it. Just enough to fill in the areas in here. If it's too tight, it will make the mask fit improperly and also give the keeper a headache. It's like pushing on her all the time. All right, so now everything's good and we're going to look up at the ceiling. We can see that it's a nice fit in here and this adjustment over here is the chin cup adjustment, the one up top here. And if it were loose on her chin, I could adjust it tighter. If it was pushing against her chin, making the mask ride back, I would loosen it up. Very important not to over tighten that buckle. Because if you have all kinds of strapping back here and the chin cup goes way back in the mask, it's going to put it, the bottom of the mask, outward, which will ruin the downward visibility. This is exactly how the mask should fit right in here. The last adjustment we're going to make is the safety strap adjustment. And this is the non-elastic strap that fastens up here on both sides. We never alter how these are attached. And the proper fit that I feel works best is we don't need the strap to be strangling the keeper. All, right? all we do is we need it snug. And a rule that I use is when the keeper 
looks up at the ceiling. It should just rest against her throat. And then, when she goes straight down, it gives you a little bit of room there. If it's too tight, just loosen it. This will keep it on her head in the event of a collision where you're pushing upward like that. A lot of keepers tend to throw this away, but this is the key to keeping it on her head. We have a very expensive mask, and it's not going to do anybody any good if it gets kicked off and it's rolling around in the back of the court. So we had the mask on for a few minutes. We made sure it wasn't too tight, made sure there wasn't too much air in the airbag. Everybody's happy with it. It fits great. And now we want to stow this tube away. The tube does not stay out here, of course. A lot of keepers like to do it, uh, but don't do that. It will come out of this vent hole and we want it to go back inside. For demonstration purposes, I've taken the back plate off of this mask. You don't have to do that. Okay, so we're going to pull the tube back in. And this is a one-time procedure. You don't have to do this every time you play, just the one time. We've pulled it back in, and there are two things to pay attention to inside the mask. One is this little slot in the foam right here, and the other is this non-elastic vinyl strap right over here, next to the sweatband. So what we'll do is we'll put it through that slot first, step one. Now you've got a little excess here. We're going to put it underneath the little strap and push it down in. It's important that you don't leave the tube hanging like that because that will hurt. So we want to stow everything away properly. Once in the slot, down in here, and that would be the finished product. And again, you don't have to take the back plate off to do it, but you can see exactly how it goes. And again, every time you put this on, it'll fit exactly the same way. The little dispersion discs in the airbag Move the air from side to side, and it's a custom fit every time you put it on.